Welcome back nerds and news hunters. In this video we're going to check out a new build I made for Walls and Walls of Mayhem and it's really insane you guys so this build is really gonna make you push some more uh, levels in the dungeons so without further ado let's rock. Alright you guys, so welcome back. Let's start off with spending all our points here into toughness. All points into toughness. Alright, next up we're going to do the uh, passive skill tree here. And first off, we're going to go up in soldier here. And grab some ferocity, maximum health, attack damage and into Praetorian. Uh, right, so next up, I want to go down in agility, grab some attack speed. This we will need for this build because this build is actually based on a lot of uh, life leech, so you get a lot of health back. So, in this way, you have a higher chance of surviving. So, and you grab a little toughness here on the way as well, which, which will also give us damage because we have Praetorian. So we're going to go right down here and grab some uh, rent damage into life leech and grab bleed chance and actually go down here to get some more attack speed and to get some 6% global life leech and this is essential to this build to stay alive. So this is the passive talent tree guys, let's move on. Right. So next up guys, let's actually take a look at the items because one thing you need to have in mind for this build is that you will need one dagger and one one-handed weapon. At the moment I'm wearing this dagger and I'm wearing this one-handed bladed mace that I found. So uh, this is what you need to actually be able to use these skills that we're going to talk about, talk about right now. Let's dive into that. Bleeding edge you are going to use increased area of effect and that the axe keeps spinning at the same location uh, after being thrown. You will also grab phantom blades which you, and you can choose this because you have a dagger on as well, right? So you have to choose increased damage and now you can control where the projectile is going to go where you have the mouse cursor. So. I'll come back to this, this is important. Next up we have the Shout, it will gain you some Rage and uh, it will gain stacks of Weekend to uh, to the enemies, which is pretty damn awesome. Next up, Wings of Ishmir, increased Rage and it stuns an Impact. Right, so we have a Markup Impurity as well and this is important because you're going to choose this uh, effect that they explode when they die and you will also use this effect where, where it's when they die that it spreads to surrounding enemies so you'll get this kind of domino effect when one dies it will spread and other other smaller enemies will also explode right so this is really important and the reason i've chosen phantom blades as well is because you mark an enemy up, it could be an enemy standing in the distance and then afterwards you will be able to throw your phantom blades and explode this guy from a distance which is pretty damn cool if you ask me, right? So, alright, let's carry on guys. Right, so to talk a little bit more about the gear, I'm actually just using some kind of random gear, I mean, I have all resistances and I have some defensives here with material 
material resistance, which will give me damage because of the Praetorian uh, talent, right? So um, this is the items that I'm using for this build at the moment. And I know that I, I'm using the, the lucky build and uh, two legendary uh, weapons here. One is a dagger and one is a maze. This maze is actually really strong. Um, so you can see I, I have uh, five gems with either damage, which will bring my damage up a lot, right? So uh, you can see right now that I have 2109 damage here. So let's get into some gameplay and see this build in action, right guys? So just to make everything more exciting, let's go and into a plus 13 here. So I can show you guys that on a plus 13 that this will actually do pretty good damage. And uh, let's hope that I will not die <laughs> when, I, when I need to show this off. But let's jump into it here. You see I mark one enemy up. And I explode them. You can see they everything is just dying, and it's working out pretty well for me, right? Let's keep going here. Jump in, mark one up with, explode them. It's just working out beautifully, doing loads of damage. <laughs> and I have not been doing any progression yet, but I'm I know for sure that this build will will uh, allow me to go through a lot of higher dungeons as well because it's a really strong build um, so let's get down here we have some couple of elites here we're just gonna jump in and get some explosions going here if we can well, I didn't have any smaller enemies here but you can see the explosion actually finished off uh, the rare as well, so it's just so much fun. This insane, this build. So, in uh, plus 13, it can actually it's actually pretty easy to get you know, rares and uh, all the packs down. So as you can see, it's working out pretty good, guys. And I really want you guys to try out this build and let me know down in the comment section what you think. And if you love this build, please let me know because it will make me very happy because I've been spent a lot of time to put this stuff together, right? So uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. And uh, I will just see you guys later. Peace.